So, I think that that wasn't a fart, by the way. <laughs> it's the shoes. Hello, my Fiji people, and welcome back to another haul. We are really pumping them out this December, aren't we? As you can see, today we are doing my Christmas wish list with a company called Superbalist. Now, before I get into the whole spiel about the company, I can see. That you may or may not be subscribed to my channel. If you aren't, I think it would be pretty cool if you became part of the Peach family. I put a lot of stuff on my story so you can get exclusive behind the scenes content. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're looking for something a bit different. But without any further ado, let us get into this wish list. that do not know. Superbalist is a local company in South Africa that houses a whole bunch of brands from international to local, from clothing to cooking to pets to tech. They literally have everything and anything you could need. You could maybe compare them to like a ASOS Vibes and I got given a little budget. No, it wasn't very little. And they said, Alex, pick out your favorite things and share them with your, your peachy peeps uh, so that they can find out a little bit about our Christmas offerings. So I think that they are having a like a daily special until the 17th, if I'm not mistaken. So that's in a few days time it ends. So get cracking. You guys can get some really good deals on there. So let's start with the first piece. We have a gorgeous little, what do you call this? A satin... Not a camisole. Let me read the label and find out what it's called. It's a satin cowl neck cami blouse. That's it. In the color blush. And it is actually in a size 14, which I think is probably going to be a bit too small for me, if I'm being honest with you. I'm I've gotten a little bit peachier. So I think that I'm more like a comfortable 16. I've been looking for one of these for quite a while now. Just like a simple um, neutral color that I can wear with like jeans. I can wear with a skirt. Um, and I really feel like even though like Carl Nicks, they were very last season, they're still like just classic. They're timeless. This has like a double lining in the front here. So you wouldn't necessarily have to wear a bra. We'll see what happens when I try it on. Only thing I'm a bit worried about is it doesn't have adjustable straps. So we're gonna have to see. But I would like pair this with even a pair of jeans or like a gorgeous like linen skirt or a linen pair of pants that could be really cute i need a classic like this straight off the bat it definitely does fit i thought it was going to be too small for me the straps they actually fit well for my proportion but i think if they were too long you, there's like this weird trick that you can just like go like this and then pull and it makes like two little tabs so there's that I put on like just like a sticky bra underneath, even though it's not see-through, I just don't want the, the lights to show through. Um, probably wouldn't wear it with a bra. And there's so many different ways that you can style this, like you can untuck it, uh, you can tuck the whole thing in, you can do like a French tuck. By the way, these pants are so tight on me now. I think that the colouring is like stunning, and to top it off, I think just for a little bit of extra pizzazz, I would throw on this blazer and then you've got more of like a warm kind of look. So all in all, like I'm, I'm into this and I think that I would definitely recommend it. It is peach approved. And next up we have quite an interesting item and you guys are going to be like, Alex, there's a white t-shirt. It's not very interesting at all, but she's interesting. So this is a piece that I got from Mango and I find that like I'm gravitating towards a lot of the Mango stuff on their site. And now I do know that they have like Mango Violetta which is like a plus size range. Here it looks kind of basic which is not bad, I love a basic tee. But if you have a good look over here you can see that the side is completely open. So it has like a little tie here, the back is longer than the front by the way. And you would tie a little bow. You see what I mean? I think that that's really cute. So it's essentially a crop top, but like more of like 
a sexy kind of crop top showing a little bit of the side boob um, and then we've got this gorgeous like thick sleeve going on here and that's where like the ribbon goes inside so if you pull it tighter you'd obviously have like a more of like a cat sleeve and the material is amazing um i got this in a extra large let us try this on hmm honesty is the best policy and my honest opinion on this is that i am on fence so i'm going to need your guys help in the comments if you think this is a keep or a return the material i'll start off is just like it's above and beyond what you want from a t-shirt. I really love the fact that the sides are open and the thing is it's almost like modest but it's still like you're still able to show a little bit of skin. Uh, a lot of the time people don't feel too comfortable like wearing crop tops so maybe this is another way to like play around with fashion and get a little bit more like confident with how you are presenting yourself. I think you could also like do a French tuck with this but I'm just not too certain if it's for me but I'm just feeling a little bit frumpy like just a tiny 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 little bit frumpy I think it's time for an accessory break I didn't I mean I was tempted to but I just wanted to stick with fashion this time around but what's fashion without accessories and lip liner I'm currently wearing this color and I love the color of my natural lips so it's kind of hard to find something that looks like them I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about this is from Essence and this is a soft precise lip pencil it says long-lasting and it is in the color I don't know bold there we go very well priced I think this is like 20 Rand 25 Rand like what costs 25 Rand these days and then our last little accessory is this tip from Cotton Up. well I mean Ruby. Um, Ruby is the accessory brand of Cotton On, if you didn't know. And I probably have like four of these clips, and that's because I have a problem. I feel like a lot of the time when I wear uh, my hair up, which is 90% of the time, um, and I don't like that sound, and I tie it up, I feel like it does damage my hair quite a bit when I use a hair elastic. Uh, so I've started to use these clips. They are from the 90s. Um, I remember wearing these when I was a kid and like you had the spiky do out the back, but I can't get enough of them. This was a steal and that's the team. Our next item on my Christmas, Christmas wish list. <laughs> on my Christmas wish list is a bidet suit. I said to you guys that I'm more like a 16 now on top, even though like I don't have the biggest boobies, um, my arms are getting bigger and just comfortability wise, that's where we're headed right now. But I thought I would just try out of 14. It's gonna be very hard for me to show you. It is a one shoulder moment. And it is like a cool ribbed material. When I opened this, I got a bit worried because um, it was see-through, but then, to my pleasure, I found out that it was double-lined all the way in the front over here. The back is not double-lined, which I don't really mind too much. What I really loved about this is that it is a thong, and a very long thong at that. When you are a tall girl and you wear a bodysuit, sometimes it's coming. I know that sounds so bad. I'm, I'm sorry guys if this was a bit... But this is me, I'll be honest with you. This is a beautiful staple piece and I'm so glad I got it from my wishes. This bodysuit is giving! There is so much room for activities within it. Like you can definitely pull this off if you're a size 16. There's a lot of stretch. I think that these like one shoulder moments are super classy at the minute, super on trend and you can pretty much pair this with absolutely anything. I feel like this is a gorgeous way to like highlight your waist. And that is what I'm here for. A lot of the time with these body suits, my belly button would like show. Because this slit would be a bit too like thin. But it's perfectly covering the gal. And this is what it looks like from the back. Um, this you can like, you see how like high it goes. And that is also because the thong is actually fitting. This is fully peach approved. 
fully, 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 fully. Next thing on my wish list, which I have been searching for for quite a minute now, is a pair of coated waxed black pants. There's like one place that I have been getting it from for the past couple of years, and I probably buy one every year or every two years, somewhere around there, because they only ever release them every two years, which is from Cotton On. But I was lucky enough to find another set on Superbalist, and it was also in the plus size range. So, oh, by the way, they have a gorgeous plus size range, which um, is dedicated to our peachy people. So, this is from the company called Misguided. These are in a UK 18, and they just like are a very classic piece to have in your cupboard. They are stretchy and they make your peach look so. I will not lie to you, they look quite small right now. So I'm a tiny bit scared, but I do know that after a couple of wears with these pants, like they just mold to your body. And even if they don't fit, they are gonna be bigger sizes for me. So it's a win-win. Now you can see that I have paired these gorgeous pants with the bodysuit that we just tried on. And I was a little bit worried that they weren't gonna fit because uh, those jeans that I just wore, they were tight. They have definitely made room in this region for some junk in the trunk. And I'm here for it. They are super comfortable and stretchy. A lot of the time they put like fleece in these pants and it just gets way too hot. So I'm into this. It's nice and thin and very breathable. Long enough as well. That's always important because I'm, whoa, falling all over the place. Definitely, definitely keeping it. Is the peach popping? I can't see that far. You guys are going to have to tell me. But I feel like if you are self-conscious about cellulite, wax pants always do a good job at like smoothing things out. And that's why it like picks up your bum and just makes it look stunning. Another two items that have been sitting in my wish list for quite a while now is this two-piece little set. Superbulous actually have their own in-house brand, if you guys didn't know. So they have like a lot of basics, I would say. It's like this thick ribbed material. Hope you guys can see the texture. And it's got a nice like thick band over here. I don't really like cycle shorts when they have a thin band because I feel like they roll down or they make my tummy poke out and it's a bit strange. So I got these in an extra large and if I'm being completely honest with you, um, they do look a little bit short, right? And the real tea is no matter what kind of um, ribbed material you buy on the planet, nine times out of ten, if it's not double lined or there's a lot of it to work with, it's probably going to be see-through. So I could see that these would be quite see-through. But those go with this cool oversized tee. I always struggle to find like oversized, oversized tees for me. So hoping that this one works. This is also in an extra large. And yeah, it's got like, is that a high neck? Was it a crew neck? I'm not too sure. I think that they had this in gray and possibly purple, if I'm not mistaken. So if this does fit well, I might just dabble in the other colors. I love this. I feel so comfortable in this two-piece, like... Come on in. Come on. Oh, now you don't want to come? Wow, that's rude. Baby, I'm busy filming something. Okay. I love the coloring. I think it's like a super beautiful, rich color and it goes well with my skin tone. And I feel like it would really go well with any kind of skin tone too. With regards to the shorts, now one, they're a lot shorter than I thought, but they're actually like a comfortable kind of short. Second thing I really do like about them is they're not like cutting me over here. A lot of the time like shorts, like this, the seam is just a bit too small and we lose circulation. Unfortunately, I feel like I am, regardless of that, stretching these pants to like their maximum capacity. Uh, I think that they are probably very see-through now. Specifically, remember I have a huge light in front of me, but I can just feel it in my bones. Um, the back is probably super see-through as well. Thing is, I would still keep it because the top covers the bum area and the front area. So does it really matter? 
I don't think so. The sizing of the top, I would have loved it to just be like an inch, an inch bigger. It is a lot more high in the neck than I thought it was going to be originally, but I kind of like that. Would you guys get this in purple and grey? Let me know in the comments down below. If you are a peachy person and you've been on this channel for a while, you'll see that a lot of my styling videos I talk about how I can never find a pair of sweatpants that are baggy enough for me. Uh, even if I get like a double XL, it just never really works out. So these two pieces have me very excited. One, because they are from Nike and Nike is one of my favorite brands ever. And that's workout stuff as well as like their athleisure vibes. And I really wanted to look a little bit more like put together when I was wearing sweatpants. Uh, and I only have like long stuff. So I got these gorgeous, I love them. Uh, this gorgeous two-piece set. This is actually from the Nike plus size range, which I've never bought before. We have this gorgeous little like camel piece and this is in a 1XL. Now, uh, I think I'm like an XL just in general and I might even think that these might be too small so I might turn them and get a 2XL. I think they go up to a 2XL. I see that they don't have a drawstring which is a bit upsetting because i need sometimes to snatch me in but let's let's roll with it got nice deep pockets and then at the bottom we've just got like a normal ankle cuff and then to go with that i got a oversized tee you can see i'm with the oversized vibes it's very like subtle but it's got the nike branding over there i also got this in a 1x Yes, but I feel like this, you can dress up, you can dress down, like you can pop on a cute pair of sneakers with this and like jewelry the shit out of you. And then you would look like very high fashion with some like very cool sunglasses. Are you getting the vision that I'm putting down? I'm pretty that these pants are baggy on me. I'm so happy. I think I found my sweat pants guys, with a few exceptions, but First of all, this look, and let's just excuse my Air Force Ones, uh, they are very dirty and I need to get a new pair ASAP, but you just cannot find them anywhere. It is just the right amount of baggy that I was looking for. The top is like super on point, it's perfectly baggy, it's a little bit more baggy than the other one I just tried on, which did actually look kind of cute with the brown shorts as well, this whole get up. It was working for me. It is quite a thin cotton, that's for sure. The sweatpants I absolutely love. I think that it's the right amount of baggy that I'm looking for, right? Um, they, I think they did say mid, so that's what they look like in the back. Nice big pockets and I love the colour. The only thing is, is that because of how tall I am, they're a little bit short for me at the, at the, at the ankles. Specifically it's very strange but this right ankle, I don't know if you can see, this right ankle is a lot shorter than the left ankle. So that's a little bit annoying and just <laughs> I might just have to return them and get another pair and see if they're more even. But I absolutely love them. This is what I've been looking for and I actually don't need the drawstring. It does a good enough job on its own staying up. Uh, yeah, it's actually very high on this one side. Feels like it's on my calf. <laughs> That's very strange. This belongs in the peach approval pile because <coughs> science sealed delivered yo man. I feel like we should take a quick little accessory break um, in between all of our lovely clothes. Is this not just gorgeous? So as I said to you guys, Mango was doing the things for me throughout this whole entire wishlist haul. It's like a Bottega-esque bag. The reason why I chose this bag is I've been looking for something that's a bit more like classy um, and a bit like bigger so I can actually like hold my camera inside. Let's get all of this stuff out. She shoots. She's gone. Oh yes, this is a beautiful size. Like my camera would definitely fit in here. Um, it's got like a canvas kind of lining and it's got a nice little pocket for you to put your cell phone or like your purse or whatever. This is a winner winner 
Shukondino. I posted this one dress on Instagram recently and you guys really seemed to like it. And this was my first time like really going out there with the greens. So I thought, you know, let me try myself out again, but get something a little bit longer. And this is what we came up with. And this is also by the brand Superbulist again. So um, this isn't an extra large and it is in the color avocado. I love that because it is very avocado-y. And she is very long, very, very, very long. So it's a maxi dress. And the material is so thick and juicy, it feels like a nice pillow. And that's always really important when you're looking for something that has knitwear because um, definitely can be see-through. I'm worried about the top being a little bit too bags. But I think, look at me saying bags, wow. All in all, I am super excited to try this bag boy. Oh. I feel like a pretty little avocado. The avocado! Okay, first impressions of the colour. I was a bit nervous in the beginning, but I actually really love it. And I think it's quite festive and like pushing yourself to do different things is important in my life. So the comfortability is there. I think I might like go one size down just because of the top. It feels like it's hanging a little bit for me. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Why I would keep it is because if I went a size down, it might get a bit more sheer. And I don't know what you guys are seeing, but I don't like didn't see it to be too sheer. But if I got one size down, you can see I was like hanging off my back when it should be more a little bit like that, and a little bit less like that, and more like that. You get me? And this would also be a nice beach dress, like you could wear a white bikini with this. And they had a whole bunch of different other colours as well, so in my books, tick, tick, tick. Last but not least on my Christmas wish list. Gingham. Gingham, gingham. I don't know, I might be saying it wrong. But who cares? Favorite bikini is in this print. I have a mask and I actually have two masks in this print. Like I think it's timeless, but I wanted to try myself out and get something fun for the festive season. And this skirt was it. It is also from, oh, okay. I actually like, I'm repping the Superbulous brand um, in this haul. The Superbulous brand is really well priced, just by the way. Uh, this is in a 16, and I will let you in on a little secret. I have worn this little senorita skirt um, this past weekend. But I will say, when I tried this on, um, it's got three tiers. When I first put it on, it was actually like a bit small around, because it's literally hitting the widest part of my hips. So I was a bit di disappointed by that, but then I sat in the car, and stood up and it had like stretched out. It's got an elasticated waistband over here. So would I have gone to a size 18? Maybe. And because I am so tall, the length like on the model, it looked a bit longer. So I was expecting something longer, but nonetheless, I think that it's still like a cute length. It's more like a calf kind of skirt. It's just something nice to throw on, um, it's not too hot, uh, but it definitely like tells people that you put a little bit of effort into what you were wearing today and a little bit out of the comfort zone but still like a good amount of coverage, you know? So let me show you how I styled it. Unfortunately, I could not find the exact top that I was wearing this weekend. I think it's probably in the wash somewhere, um, but this is exactly the same version but just in black. So I've paired it with these chunky little cotton on sandals, which are the most comfortable, and then these cute little ruby sunglasses, also from cotton on. This is also from cotton on. Uh, but like, I really am into the playfulness of this skirt. You can see what I was talking about a little bit over here, how it's hitting like the widest part of my body. In terms of the length, I would have loved if it was a little bit longer, but if you are not such a tall gal, it'll definitely be that gorgeous like maxi length for you. The material is super lightweight so it's easy to wear in the summer and you will not perspire until you are a pig. And I think it's a forever skirt. I don't think that this is ever going to go out of fashion. Gingham has been in fashion for decades. Uh, so I think that that wasn't a fart by the way. <laughs> it's the shoes. 
I think that this is one of my favorite pieces out of my whole little wish list. So I feel like that was quite a successful haul. Thank you so much to Superbulous for sending through these, well, did not, but allowing me to review your stuff for you. If you guys are going to be buying any other stuff, I would love to see pictures on Instagram in the comments down below. Please let me know if you're going to get any other stuff. It's always really important for me to get feedback if I am, you know, like giving you guys the full rundown and educating you enough on the brands and the quality of the clothing. But I am going to finish this now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay peachy.